Hi, I'm Katarina West, local realtor, and this week I wanted to make a video on 16 things to do in Charleston, South Carolina, indoor edition for days that are too hot, too cold, or rainy. I'll be making an outdoor edition too with way more activities, so make sure to subscribe to see that soon. I wanted to be inclusive with this list, so there is a good mix of active and less active activities, family friendly and more adult activities, and so on. And these are not in any particular order, so let's just get right into it. First thing, with Charleston being such a historic area, is to check out the museums. There are a ton of museums, so I won't talk about all of them here, but the Charleston Museum is regarded as America's first museum, founded in 1773, so this year is the 250th anniversary and it has all kinds of cool collections and exhibits. They also have two historic houses you can walk through nearby. And if you like seeing historic houses, there are many others in Charleston to check out too. If you're into war history, you'll have to check out Patriots Point Naval and Maritime Museum, which is the largest museum in South Carolina. This is where the USS Yorktown is located, along with other vessels, aircraft, and exhibits. I can't leave out the kids either with the Children's Museum of the Low Country, although a lot of these museums do have a ton of activities for kids. Here is a more complete list of museums to check out in Charleston. Second thing is to dine your way through Charleston. Our city has an award-winning food scene with a variety of restaurants, ranging from fine dining to casual eateries, serving dishes like seafood, barbecue, she crab soup, and shrimp and grits. Charleston is also famous for its culinary events, such as the Charleston Wine and Food Festival and the Low Country Oyster Festival, which both draw thousands of visitors every year. Overall, Charleston's food scene offers a diverse range of flavors and dining experiences, and even if you're not into seafood, you'll find a restaurant you love here. A few top-rated restaurants are Hall's Chop House, Magnolia's, Hank's Seafood Restaurant, High Cotton, and Slightly North of Broad. If you want to get into these restaurants, make sure to have a reservation in advance. If you get overwhelmed by all the choices, I recommend taking a culinary tour, where someone will guide you through the top-rated places. Third thing is to enjoy local art. Like museums, Charleston is famous for its thriving art scene, with a large number of art galleries from local, regional, and national artists. The Gibbs Museum is Charleston's only visual arts museum and has a mix of permanent and special exhibitions, and the first floor is free. For an art gallery experience, the Charleston Gallery Association has a list on their website of all the art galleries downtown, and most of them are within walking distance. In fact, this association hosts First Friday Art Walks every month from 5 to 8 p.m., where you can plan your own route to see the best art in the city. They have a map for downtown galleries to help you navigate, and they also have a map for galleries in the greater Charleston area. If you'd rather do art than look at art, then a wine and paint or DIY craft class might be perfect for you. You do not have to be a good artist to attend these classes, as the instructors help you from start to finish. There are multiple different locations to choose from in the Lowcountry, whether brick and mortar art studios or artists that do pop-up events at fun places. My mom and I did one of Paint with Andre's events at Saltwater Cowboys one time, and that was super fun to paint at sunset over the water. If you prefer a woodworking class or other DIY craft, Charleston has that too. There's even an event where you can forge your own item while being taught by a forged and fire champion. Here in Charleston, you can let your creative side shine with one of these art or DIY classes. Next thing is to visit the South Carolina Aquarium, which is fun for any age, with interactive exhibits where you can touch stingrays and sea urchins, large tanks full of beautiful fish, and a sea turtle hospital, all with an emphasis on ocean conservation. They even do special events sometimes like glow nights and happy hours if you're looking for a more unique experience if you've already been. I have a whole video on the aquarium, so if you want to take a peek at that first before going, check it out here. Next is to go to a trampoline park. There are not one but four trampoline parks in the area. There's Sky Zone in Mount Pleasant, Summit Adventure Park in West Ashley, Flight Adventure Park in North Charleston, and Urban Air Trampoline and Adventure Park, which is coming soon to North Charleston. All of these have different trampoline-based activities, including obstacle courses and group games, and some of them even have glow nights and special events. Next is go brewery hopping and try some of the best craft beer Charleston has to offer. 
There's even a free trolley to go brewery hopping every Saturday between 1 and 9 p.m. in the brewery district, which is located on the upper peninsula of Charleston. A lot of the breweries have great food too, or partnerships with food trucks. Edmonds Oast in North Charleston is one of my personal favorite breweries. If you're not a beer person, Firefly Distillery is located in Park Circle of North Charleston, and they do tastings of their vodka, moonshine, rum, and whiskey. Their sweet tea vodka is very popular. Number eight, watch a movie. What better way to avoid bad weather than with a movie? There are a bunch of movie theaters in the region. Citadel Mall Stadium 16 has super comfortable chairs that recline really far back. Town Center in Mount Pleasant has a Regal Palmetto Grant, which is also really nice. And there is a ton around it if you wanted to grab dinner and ice cream or shop before or after the movie. If you like a smaller, more vintage movie theater vibe, you'll have to check out Terrace Theater on James Island. It's really cute inside and they have a great selection of drinks and snacks. If you're closer to North Charleston or Somerville, there are multiple options that way as well like Northwood Stadium Cinema, Cinemark, Movies 8, and Regal Azalea Square. Number nine is go shopping. Charleston is home to many great shopping options. Some of the most popular ones include King Street, a historic shopping district known for its boutiques and antique shops, Charleston Place, an upscale shopping center on King Street featuring high-end stores and restaurants, and Historic City Market an open-air market that has been operating since the 1700s and offers souvenirs, jewelry, artwork, and more. If you're looking for a larger scale mall, we have those too. Citadel Mall is located in West Ashley, Tanger Outlets is in North Charleston and has pretty much everything, and Town Center in Mount Pleasant has a mix of local and popular national chains. If you're a Marshalls and Home Goods person like me, there are multiple of those in the greater Charleston area too. Number 10, Test your knowledge at a trivia night. Throughout the weeknights, many restaurants and breweries around Charleston have team trivia nights with all kinds of themes. I did a trivia night at Charleston Sports Pub in West Ashley once with the theme of The Office and it was way harder than I thought, but still super fun. It's a great way to bond with friends or meet new people while testing your knowledge over a craft beer. Next is see a comedy show. If you like to laugh, there are a number of comedy theaters in the area to check out. Black Fedora Comedy Mystery Theater and Shop is located downtown in the French Quarter and does mystery shows. And Theater 99 is also downtown and is all improv. There are also other pop-up comedy nights at some of Charleston's many venues, so you can be on the lookout for those. Number 12, go axe throwing. Located in North Charleston at Chucktown Axe Throwing, you can enjoy a beer from Rusty Bull Brewing under the same roof and learn how to throw a bullseye. And don't worry, they have instructions there to help you, and it's a great way to try something new. Next is catch a live performance at Charleston Music Hall, the Riviera Theater, or the Gilliard Center. At the Charleston Music Hall with 965 seats, they have all kinds of shows, from classical orchestra to comedy shows, professional talks to theatrical performances. The Riviera Theater is a bit smaller with 600 seats and is another great venue to watch performances of all different kinds. The Gilliard Center is Charleston's largest performing arts venue with 2,750 seats and is used for large exhibitions, big name concerts, Broadway shows, dance performances, and classical music. Next is act as a detective at an escape room. There are five highly rated escape room companies in the region, all with different themes to choose from. Time Traveler Escape Games downtown even has rooms that play off of Charleston's little known history and legends. The other escape rooms also have fun rooms with different difficulty levels. Number 15, go ice skating at the Ice Palace in North Charleston. They have classes and programs, but if you're just looking for public skating, it's open year round and has competitive pricing. Last but not least, if you like indoor sports, South Carolina Stingrays is a minor league hockey team that you could watch at the North Charleston Coliseum. If you like to play sports, there are many different indoor sports in the area such as Top Golf, which just opened in North Charleston, bowling at the alley downtown and other places, basketball at one of Charleston's many recreational centers, and a pickleball court called Courtyard, which is coming soon to Mount Pleasant. And that is it. Obviously, there are way more things to do indoors here in Charleston, but I hope you found some things on this list that you'd like to try out. If you do try any of them out, please comment below, and I'd love to hear if you have anything to add. If you live in Charleston or travel often and want a constant update on things going on in the area, I highly recommend subscribing to CHS Today, an email newsletter by 6am City. I feel like I have a way better idea of what to do and what's going on in Charleston thanks to them. They have the best info on upcoming events, new developments, 
developments, history, and more. I have no affiliation with them, I just love reading their newsletter, so you might too. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my outdoor things to do in Charleston video, which has more activities than this list. See you soon.